Kate is a faith-based, tax-paying, America-loving political humorist and family entertainer. Kate still believes that humor gets us through peacetime, wartime, scoundrel time, and economic downtimes. Her weekly video blog is a must-see. TV, Kate, is like an Andrea Rooney, pleasantly kvetching about the news and views of the day, but without the eyebrow problem. Please welcome Kate Clinton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, all you sinners. What a beautiful Sunday it is. We'd like to reclaim a tradition from the Catholic Church. Please turn to each other right now and give each other the kiss of peace. <laughs> Tongues, please. <laughs> give some peace. It's a pleasure to be here. LGBT quality is popping up everywhere. It's like whack a mole out there. We've got homo-mentum. We do. 40 years ago this summer, it was the Stonewall Riots. 40 years ago. I wasn't there, and one time somebody was introducing me, and he, I think he meant to introduce me as a Stonewall lesbian, but he actually introduced me as a Stonehenge lesbian. That's old, but I'm proud to be here. But I'm telling you, I've got tolerance fatigue. I am sick and tired of homophobia. <laughs> homophobia is a choice. <laughs> to fight it, we need tactics like this march. We need tactics like ballot initiatives. I suggest one that says divorce is illegal. And if you get divorced, you're a felon. And if you're a felon, you can't vote. I suggest we have a rainbow slowdown. Go to work, go to your jobs if you have one, and God bless you, and then just mess up. If you're a flight attendant on a cross-country flight, shut the bathrooms down mid-country. If you're a decorator, mess up the feng shui. If you're a lesbian therapist and what are the chances, say, oh, your dad sounds like a lovely guy, stick with it. We need other tactics. I say it's time to tax the church. <laughs> tax the church. I want to thank all of our straight allies who are here with us today. And I want to challenge our straight activists, our straight allies, to speak to their same old sex friends and challenge them and ask them to stop their heterosexist extremism. Stop it. What are they afraid of? They seem to say if gay people achieve full moral equality, it will be the end of civilization as we know it. Good. Gay is good, bisexuals are good, lesbians are good, transgender people are good, gay is good.